In this segment, let's go ahead and look at using some more tips and tricks in the advanced templates that we can get. So one of the things that is kind of a pain <laughs> in a lot of these kinds of templates is they'll very often have a music file in them. And most of the time, the music isn't timed for how long the video lasts. And it just, boom, cuts off at the end. That kind of makes me crazy. So let me kind of show you how you can adjust that and fix it. So on this particular slide, like most of these advanced templates, the very first slide has a music file. Okay, And then basically the way that it works on the animations pane, this file will start with previous and we go to the playback. It's going to start automatically with previous. It's very important to set this to with previous. Automatic. And most of the time they'll also have looped until stopped. I usually uncheck that. The other important thing is to have it play across all slides. So basically what's going to happen is as soon as this video starts to render out, what's the very first thing that happens? Music starts to play. Okay, And we set it with previous so that it happens as soon as the slide comes up. It is going to start automatically, so there's no clicking, and it is going to continue to play across all of the slides. The end result being, of course, a music file that plays all the way to the end. Okay. The reason that I like to uncheck the loop until stop is because if the music ends before you run out of slides, it's just going to start over again, and that's going to be kind of amateur night. Well, if the audio file is too long for however long your video lasts, it's just going to stop. And that's the part that kind of makes me crazy. So I'll say straight up, up front, I'm not a fan of trying to work with background music in PowerPoint. And you'll see why in a second. My preferred method would be to either delete this or mute it, render out the video, pull it into Camtasia where I can absolutely trim and make my audio file the proper length. I can fade it in, I can fade it out, I can do all that good stuff so much easier in not just Camtasia but literally any video editing program on the planet. Right, so that's my preferred method. However, if you should be so inclined as to wish to use your embedded music in PowerPoint, here's kind of my tips and tricks for you. As you may have guessed, the big issue here is going to be the length of this audio. How long does it last? If it's too long, it's just going to cut off at the end of the video. If it's too short, well, you're going to run out of music, or if you have looped until stopped, it's just going to start over. Amateur night, right? So here's kind of my, my process. The very first thing I'll do is, assuming I want to keep this audio track, and I just want to make it work right a little more professionally, is I will go ahead and go to File, and Export, Create a Video, I'll set this to zero seconds on slide and I'm basically just going to create a video. Why? Because, let's think about that a second, unless you actually create the video, in PowerPoint there is literally no way to know how long this thing is going to last. Right? It all depends on how many animations and uh, you know all kinds of weird stuff is baked into that. So by exporting it as a video, here's kind of what I get. I get this video file. Here's your secret. If you see right down here, it says the length of the video is 41 seconds. Okay, now let's go back 
the first slide, click on your little audio dealie, let's go to playback, and let's go to trim audio. So what I basically need is 41 seconds of this 2 minute and 35 second song. And I can pick and choose what 42 seconds I want. So for most music, a lot of times if the music has a distinctive ending, I'll almost always want that included because you know it's like a dramatic finish instead of fading out the end I'll take this nice ending that they have and then all you basically do is take your head here and right up here is the duration of how long this is gonna play so I'm gonna take it to like right around what was it 41 seconds so we'll do something like that and say OK so that's all well and good for the ending but what I also want to do is fade in the beginning. So what's going to happen then is the music will start to play automatically. It's going to fade in pretty quickly so it shouldn't be too abrupt or anything. It's going to play for 41 seconds which I know is how long the video lasts and then right at the end 41 seconds boom you know I get my nice music finish okay so I hope that's a pretty good tip that's kinda how I'll play with using a background music track in these advanced PowerPoint templates just to kick up the professionalism just a touch <laughs>